What up guys, um, Tony Stark here, um, Iron Man, you know how it is, um, so I'm, I'm working on a project right now, it's called, um, Project, Project, Open and Close My Door, with my voice, um, and basically, um, let, if, if my editing's up to skill, I'm gonna show you what's good, so this is actually me just preparing to edit really well, okay, you ready? So, I'm going to run you through it. So, I want my door to open, okay? I want Google to do it. So, to get Google to do it, I need, um, I need like a Wi-Fi switch. So, I, I actually have, um, actually this one right here. This, this is the one I'm going for. Um, I'm not going to try and spin it around because I can't be able to do that. But that, that Wi-Fi switch is going to connect to this motor right here. Maybe, um, yeah. And um, and this this motor will have some sort of um, fishing fishing wire, um, which will be spun by the motor, um, which the fishing wire will be connected to a door, a door, um, and then the door should open because the fishing wire will pull pull the door in a different ways. So we're going to have one above the door and one next to the door, so then this one will pull the door from here to here, and this one will pull the door from here to here. Now that's very great and all, and but the only problem is I had with this was a motor um, was 12 volts, and the wall gives out 240, so I had to get a um, one of these, a transformer, um, which takes from 240 to 12 volts and then I had to get a crap ton of wire as well to connect all together so I've ordered all that and then um, let's uh, let's see how it all goes I guess fingers crossed it works So this is meant to be a 12 volt motor. So if this if this can push out 12 volts, then I'll be pretty impressed. Everything's so much smaller than I expected it to be. And this is the the Wi-Fi switch that I'm on about. Oh, that no, looks like the right side. That's good. Perfect size. This is perfect. This is my fishing wire. Um, it's a reel, and I'm planning on using this reel um, on putting it on the motor um, like that, and then with each rotor rotation, it will be able to pull in more. Okay. This is coming early. Perfect. This is this is. Uh, that's not quite doing that because my camera is terrible. This is going to be. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Cause I thought this would be like, no, 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 like that big. It's quite big. And then I thought the uh, the switch would also be like that big, but they're not. They're both about the same size, which is absolutely great. Alright, boys. Found a piece of puzzle. There we go. For that, I'm gonna cut this off because this fits perfectly on there. I'm gonna cut that and then glue that into there and drill a tiny hole into the wood for that to sit in and then that will be attached and then we can um, attach these to the actual door Alright, I'm gonna um, cue the music because um, it's about to get hell boring for you guys unless I stop to explain it but um, until then Some music stuff.
of time has passed and it is now night time. And we have connected everything. Everything is glued and set. This is my finishing motor. Okay, Google. Turn on closing door. Okay, Google. Turn off closing door. Bang you. So now, without drilling any holes in because it's about half past ten. I'm gonna hold it in place and see how quick it takes to close my door. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this and hold the end of the fishing wire and just hold it in place. Okay, Google, turn on closing door. Okay, turning closing door on. It pulls it out of my fingers. Okay, Google. Turn off closing door. Okay, so, um, it didn't work. Well, everything works with the motor, it's not strong enough to have enough power. It has enough faults, but enough power. So, I'm going to have to order a, a new motor. So, I'll see you then. Okay. Um, this this whole video has terrible lighting. I'm sorry. I just I'm just not too bothered about the video, um, quality as much as more of what I'm doing is the aim of the video. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I already opened it. Well, my dad did. Um, and then came upstairs and told me that I just wasted my money because it is tiny. It is in fact about half the size of the other one, but. I've already done a test, a simple one of holding the end of it with it on and it still continues to turn with me applying pressure. Whereas this one gave up as soon as it felt a tiny bit of resistance. I watched a YouTube video on this before I bought it and this can lift, it lifted about a 500 gram water bottle from like the ground. My door is a lot heavier than that, but I'm not lifting the door. It's only moving the hinge, so therefore it's completely different. So it should work. And there's a massive spider up there. And he's gonna watch me do it. So he's gonna <laughs> beat part of the fun with me. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, I have to go out soon because I'm doing some stuff. Um but we can do a few tests now. I'm gonna have to actually drill on the door later. But there is one other problem. This is the little cork that um that goes through here, which then you attach to here to make it more rotations, but that little hole is not going to fit that one, so I'm gonna have to readjust that, but that shouldn't be that difficult, so I'll see you then. Okay, well I'm not gonna lie to you, that did scare the crap out of me then, because it just wouldn't pull it, but it, it was still spinning. There's also another fault here. With the other motor, it could spin both ways when it was off. This one doesn't spin at all when it's off. Which means I might get it all set up and realise that I can't then open my door manually again. Which I need to have to do. Which means I might have to end up buying a ratchet. Again, I mean buying a ratchet. And um, so I can open it without needing the motor to... Um, break now we've just gone online and the new plan is we bought a ratchet that has um like a flexi end so the little bit that actually spins we're going to take the pin out of that so that'll be off we're going to get we've got some really strong glue that molds into a place so it's going to mold into the inside of the ratchet with the motor in it so they are one so the ratchet head and the motor was one and then we're going to glue the reel to the exterior of the ratchet. Okay, at the end of this, um, I'm going to tot up how much I've actually spent on one. I, I know at the beginning I said I was going to make it open the door as well, but this budget has gone way over what I could have imagined. So at the end of the video, 
Or when I finish making this one, I'll put the price of how much I've actually spent on everything. Because I don't have enough money to rebuy everything again to open the door. So I think I'm going to have to manually open the door. Okay, ignore the hair, ignore the hood, ignore the noise in the background. Um, my ratchet has arrived. There's my glue. I'm going to now use um, an Allen key to take this ratchet head off and then just to make sure that the motor can actually spin the, this ratchet. It should be able to, I'm just going to use a bit of blue tack. Obviously the blue tack won't hold them in place when they actually start to pull the door, which is why I bought this. Um, but um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Ready. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So, I'm not sure if you guys know what this is for. So, basically, this motor doesn't move unless it's on. So, what's going to happen is, when it moves this way to open the door, and the motor's moving this way, the motor has to move with it. But then, when someone opens my door, I don't want the motor to be ripped off the door, but I just want the string to unravel so the door can open manually. So it will, is it not? So it will, the, it will spin by itself, and the blue tack and everything will stay still. Whereas that way, it all has to turn and it turns with the motor. That is the hope, and I don't see why it shouldn't work. So fingers crossed. Let's go adjust it. Cool. Um, sorry about that. So the plan is. I think I've already explained it to you. I'm gonna use this, which is very good, strong melding glue. Welding glue. I'm gonna put it in there, put that in the middle, and wrench it overnight. What we're doing now is we're degreasing the pin so then it will stick to the glue and doesn't just spin and then we pointless. Glue there in it. Um center as I cross we get it. Degreased pin and then we gotta wait. Two hours, it says two hours, but I'm going to leave it overnight just to make sure, because I can't always come back in the garage in two hours, because um, I'll be in bed, and I wouldn't want to get out of my bed to come into a cold garage just to move it, so I'm going to wait till the morning, because it won't do any harm. Yes! Look at that! And then that way, it's... Oh, yeah. Think of what my next steps are now. So... I could glue the reel onto my ratchet, but I mean the blue tack's working fine, right? And that's another two hours I'd have to wait. And I know two hours is not a lot compared to the two and a half, mo uh, one and a half months I've waited. But I could try and just get it mounted on the door frame and weld the wires to the actual um, motor. Oh, that's going to take a lot of brain power thinking. I need to know which wires connect to which sides to reel it in. Ah, oh, this is a lot of thinking. Oh, this hurts my brain. I'm, I'm going to be so happy when this, is, when this is finished. So happy. So I've just taken that bit out. So there's, there's no longer anything, anything there. Which... We'll make it so it will close easier for the motor, so it doesn't have to get past that bit. And then if I did ever get enough money to buy enough for the opening mechanism, it wouldn't have to pull the handle down and then open it. Okay, so I rethought my design. Um, I now have a magnet in here, um, and I've taken that out. But that has a very long hole, so I've glued two magnets to this so then they'll stay on there so then the magnet will be here and it will close and catch on with the magnet there and the magnet shut and they'll be invisible that should work ignore my face ignore everything because my eyes are ex-marie um i just re i'm going through this i'm editing it and i realized i didn't mention the fact that the ratchet didn't work um because the pull from the door was stronger than the ratchet's um, 
I don't know, whatever you call it. So when the door was trying to close, or the ratchet was trying to work, the door was stronger, so the door, it was actually, the door was actually pulling the ratchet in the opposite direction, meaning that when we were trying to close the door, it didn't move at all. Um, <clears throat> so we then had to figure out this idea to um, engage, and dis re engage and disengage the reel with the motor. So we bought this thing off Amazon, which is a piston, um, which I'm not sure if I explain this in here, but it pushes the re the reel will be attached to this piston, and it pushes the reel into the motor, meaning the motor can then use that reel to spin it. And then when the power is taken away, the reel the piston retracts, meaning the reel retracts, and the reel can then be used to open the door. Okay. Thing attached to the thing. Okay, so situation is we have um, connected this onto here. Right, this is the bit that's going to be drilled into the wall. Right, this, this is the back of it, this will be drilled into the wall here. Um, so that's just going to spin freely. Um, and then that is clamping some wood on, which we will put the motor on top of the wood. The wood's there, so it will be in line with the centre of that, and it will connect. We took apart the transformer, and here's the base of it. So then we can drill some holes in, um, so that will stay in place there, with that on it, obviously. And then we're just gonna solder some, some of the wires together, maybe chop some down a little bit so they'll be shorter, make it on the, and then tomorrow we'll get another piece of wood, put it on the back. Okay, so what this is gonna do is, this can now spin freely, Without touching that, well, that this can, I suppose, spin freely and let the door open. And then, as soon as um, it's engaged, that will be pushed in. This will continue to spin and it will interlock with that nail moving all of it together. And then we'll turn off and that will be able to spin freely again. It's a little bit down there, but it's not gonna, not gonna affect it. That could be fixed actually. But yes, I think you get the, the gist thing. Yay! Okay, came across a few problems. I, I broke the solder, which is my bad. Um, this is just a. Oh my god! I can't turn the camera. This is um, is a bit. I need to just keep these in place, but. And I think they'll be okay. Um, and then we should put it on the wall. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit wobbly. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna look at it tomorrow and sort out some few. They're just small details, and then we can put it on the wall. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's been like three days. Um, when I said I think it's the last day of making, I think probably what I should have said was. It's the last few steps and processes of making it because um, there was, of course, going to be fails and faults and stuff. Um, and we were asking too much of the motor, so it couldn't it couldn't pull it from all the different angles we were trying to get it to do. So we got we redoing the angles and trying to get it to close in a different way. Um, the locking system wasn't working quite as well as we wanted it to. So I'm currently in the stages of making a new one. Um, which looks like that, and then the motor's underneath there, but I put the, um, the brown paper on top so the, the glue wouldn't touch the motor. And then we've put two nails on here, so then hopefully the, the motor will just kind of spin with two, um, with, with the metal bar and just hit both of them at the same time, which should lock it in better. Um, and then I can't remember what else I haven't showed you, but this is all together and it's, yes. Oh, we changed it to string as well because the fishing wire was one very annoying and two not strong enough. Okay, I'm now losing track of where I last updated you guys, but it's been a few days. Um, the mount 
broke on the machine, so there was the iron bar broke off it and everything, and then I've been trying to fix that, and now the day has come where it is fixed. The motor was just giving up on us and it's just not working anymore. Um, I think the little gears have kind of broken, too much effort for it. So we've just ordered another £16 one, but it's a lot bigger this time. It should be about that big. So it's a proper motor this time, which is good, which means there's a chance that it might be able to close the door without having that. I'm not sure if I explained to you. Basically, we've got this massive stick coming off the end of the door, so then it will close the door fully. Um, because the motor couldn't actually pull it from so many different angles, but this one is bigger, so it might be able to do that, which would be great. That's less stuff attached to my door. Um, that's a horrible angle. Everywhere's a horrible angle with this hair, actually. That doesn't matter. Um, and it might be able to do it quicker. And it's meant to be really quiet, this one. It's great. And the mount, it's got a screw on the end of the um, the little bit that rotates, which means that we'll be able to just screw the, screw the iron bar on which would make everything 10 times easier. So we don't have to use much glue and everything, because I kind of just ran out of glue, so. Which should be fantastic here, yeah, boys. Fantastic. Okay. It's massive. Um, it also comes with wires coming off it, which means, right. There's a lot of things about this. This can actually spin both ways without being on. Which means, if we had bought this in the first place, we wouldn't have needed the soldering kit to solder wires onto this, because this already has wires on it. We wouldn't have needed the piston to push the, the reel into it, we would have just had to push, put the reel onto this. Um, I'm going to ask you guys now, I think you probably might have seen this at the beginning of the video as well. Um, if you want a tutorial, if anybody wants to make one, I'll make a tutorial if this video gets 20 likes, I don't know how many likes I average anymore, I can't make videos in a long time, and at least three people in the comments say they want a tutorial, <laughs> then I'll make one, um, and I'll, obviously the price total at the end of this video that you see will not be the money you'll have to spend, you'll be able to spend way less money, because I had to spend, I have bought, this is my third motor, but you'll only have to buy one motor, so. And I'll give you links to everything in the description as well. So, if you want a tutorial, there you go. You can have one if you complete those goals. So, uh, I'll do that. Obviously, it won't be great because I'm not going to rebuy everything and make a whole other one. I could make a make the complete same like the same thing and put it on the opening door part. Um, but I'm not going to because I don't have that money. I've already spent way too much. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is mildly infuriating. I could um, just replace the motor, or I'm going to have to extend it because that is how thick the wood is on this side and I need it to fit that. Or I could get rid of this and this and this, put this on here and literally just put that there, and that'll be it, and then get rid of everything else. It'll be a lot quieter, because apparently this is meant to be really quiet, and every time that that turns on, the piston makes like a, like almost like a gunshot sound, it's like someone shooting up your house, which I wouldn't know about, because I live in England. Okay, I turned the torch on, because it's a little bit dark, but anyway, here is what we're looking at. Oh wow, I like this camera so much more. <laughs> um, so what I've done is I got these two. Um, there's another one there. I got those, I cut them in half, shaped them into different sizes. Uh, this one I decided to completely change and bend into like a circle. Um, and then there's another one here to hold the middle bit. Um, and then I've got two tin tin cans like, like we have on on this one there. Um, and a half of a um, cotton reel so then hopefully that means that the string should go straight in there so it doesn't go off to the side or anything because they've got these massive barriers on the side and then it's held on with a nut because this has a screw type thingy on the end and then it's attached into there which I had to be on a wonk 
sadly, because um, it wasn't, this was too big compared to on the old one. But it still looks fine and should work fine. I'm not going to test it today because I've spent all day doing it and if it doesn't work, that means I'm going to go to sleep tonight thinking about how to fix it. And honestly, I just want to put my mind to rest tonight because it's been thinking all day about it. So, yes, that is my update. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert Green. Some of you may know this about me, but I'm actually quite a genius. Follow me. Over the past couple of months, I've been working my absolute ass off on a project of mine. We've had our ups and downs, but um, altogether, I think I'm pretty impressive with myself. I hope you are too. It all started with an idea, in my head. I was laying in bed one morning, one night, one evening, one afternoon, one day. And all of a sudden, some inconsiderate human comes into my room, opens the door, says hello, like a polite person would, but then they leave the door open when they leave. I shout after them, close the door. They did not listen. I was now forced with two options. I could lay in my bed, my nice warm bed I'd been making for myself, and leave the door wide open. Or I could get up out of my bed into the cold, close that door, to just close the door that I already closed, just to get back into bed. I decided I'd had enough, and I'll show you what I did about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the door closing machine, Mark II. Now, you may be wondering, does this product do anything else and just close the door when someone leaves it open? And the answer to that is yes. I'll show you an example. Okay, Google. I'm going out. Now, you may be thinking, yes, but I could just... Turn the light off and close the door. What if this was the situation? Okay, Google. I'm going out. Notice here, I didn't have any hands to close the door or turn the light off. My Google assistant did it all for me. Oh. Okay, before I wrap it all up, um, I forgot, well, I already wrapped up, but I forgot something so I put it in before that. I need to give you guys the final cost of everything. Um, let's start first. So, the transformer was, uh, I think it was £10. I'm going to round it up because I can't remember to do exact maths. £10. Wi Fi switch, £10. I'll keep a total here somewhere. Um, I've said ten pounds. Um, first motor was I think it was about fiver. I think yeah. Um, uh, the what the reel the the fishing wire that was another fiver. The the big amount of wire that was a tenner. Uh, in fact, no, it wasn't. That was fifteen pounds. Rounding up, that was fifteen pounds. Um, so on, that's 45 quid or something, isn't it? Um, and then we've got the second motor, that was a tenner, 55 quid. Um, and then we bought a soldering, soldering kit, that's 20 quid, so that's 75 pounds. Um, and then we bought the piston, that was another tenner, 85 pounds. 
Um, and then we bought the uh, we bought a we bought that the strong the strong setting glue. That was over tenner. Um, or was it a fiver? It could be a fiver. I mean, let's say it was a fiver, so ninety quid. Uh, we bought the ratchet. That was over tenner. Right, that's that. So, um, Hundred pounds, and then the newest motor <laughs> um, was well, sixteen quid. So that's oh no, it's fifteen. So that's one hundred fifteen pounds. Um, and then I'll do some googling of how much one plank of wood is because we used about a plank of wood. And then we can add that onto the total. Um, I can't think of anything else that I bought for this. So um, yeah. But if you bought it, the total, the final cost would be however much plank of wood is. Probably you don't even need a whole one. You probably need about a quarter of a plank. Um, if you want to get the same motor as me, you need sixteen quid. Um, you need a cotton reel, which I didn't buy, so I added it to my total. But I'm sure you can get them pretty cheap. You need some string. You need some wire, like I, uh, cable. Sorry, like I've got, um, which I got like fifteen meters for like. 13, 15 pounds and all that so you can get you don't need 50 meters, you need about I need about 3 or 2 um, so you can get that cheap you need a plug socket head thing which we had already so I didn't need to buy one you need a sonar switch and a transformer which I looked again um, and it's a lot cheaper so I don't know where I bought mine from mine was 20 quid for both of them total and I found some on Amazon the same exact ones for 12 pounds both of them so um, the transformer was only three pounds on Amazon, so I got it for about eight pounds, ten pounds. So, oh well. Um, so yeah, that's what like twelve, twenty-eight, and then however much your cable is. So you could do it for under forty quid if you wanted to. So there you go, boys. In all seriousness, guys, this was a lot of fun to make. Um, it took me many months and a lot of money. I could add some magnets to close the door completely, but I'm pretty happy with where it is, to be honest. Yes. So, um... Show some love in the comment section. Leave a like. Um... That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Um, and subscribe if you have... I don't actually care if you subscribe or not. Um, a like would be appreciated, though. And comment something nice. I met none of you here, but in fact, no, some of you might be here because you probably skipped to this point. But if you haven't skipped to this point, fantastic, thank you. Um, yeah. And my next project, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'll leave you a little sort of hint of what it could be. So, I don't know how I sign my YouTube videos off, let me just go and check. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've already said all that. Peace. Sir, the Empire are attacking. Leave this to me. Okay, Google. The Empire are attacking. <laughs>